Hey everyone, so a bit of a different video for you this weekend. I'll let you know if I was on camera right now, this would definitely be one of those tin foil hat moments. Uh, we are talking about a supposed leak that's on 4chan for a new Mario Kart game. Now, again, anything that comes from 4chan should just automatically be dismissed. But this leak is extremely in depth and which probably makes it more likely to be fake. However, it's a fun leak. It's one that it makes it fun to dream. So we're going to go over this entire leak. Well, let's not even call it a leak. We're going to go over this entire speculation. And you guys let me know what you think about it at the end. Because this is one of the most in-depth Mario Kart leaks I've ever seen. And boy, is it a fun one. So, Mario Kart Maximum is the newest entry. Although it's not really new. Mario Kart Maximum brings back every single track before 8. Of which are completely remade outside of the SNES tracks which are kept in a retro 16-bit look. Man, that's really cool. Speaking of 16, that is how many players can be on a track. There's 8 and 12-player options, too. That is the main difference in single-player difficulty now. Instead of 50cc, 100cc, 150cc, and so on, the single-player mode has Simple, Normal, Advanced, and Mario Kart Pro. Simple is 8 players at 50cc. Normal is 100cc and 12 players. Advanced is 150cc at 12 players. And Mario Kart Pro, you know, the mode I would play the most, is 150cc with 16 players. With an additional unlockable 200cc variant. The game has a total of 120 tracks. And all the already remade tracks in 8 have been altered to be fresh in some ways. The character roster is 54 characters. What is this, Super Smash Bros? up in here? Jeez. I will list them now, unordered, since you have multiple arrangement options. Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Bowser, Donkey Kong, Wario, Waluigi, Toad, Koopa Troopa, Birdo, and Shy Guy. That is the starting roster. You have to unlock the rest through coins, matches won, and gold trophies. And here we go, guys. This is a super long list, so bear with me. Daisy, Rosalina, Luma, Drybones, Piranha Plant, Paratrooper, Wiggler, Bowser Jr., Goomba, King Bomb, Diddy Kong, Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, Lakito, Pauline, King Boo, Star Mario, Hammer Bro, Dry Bowser, Metal Mario, Paper Mario, Professor Egad, Boom Boom, Pom Pom. Kamek, Spike, Funky Kong, Larry, Roy, Lemmy, Iggy, and Wendy, Morton, Ludwig, Rob, Link, Villager, Isabel, Inkling, Captain, Falcon, Captain Bunch, sorry, I, I, I couldn't resist, Kirby, and me. Something new and major is that every character has unlockable alts, whether colors or new costumes. They are Bought from the new shop, which updates 10 unknown alts and car parts randomly. Characters aren't bought from coins, only earned by coin milestones. I won't list all but a few notable ones. Mario has inverted colors. Feather Mario, Mario with Cappy, Summer Mario, Retro Mario, etc. Luigi has Fire Luigi, Mansion Luigi, Ice Luigi, Tuxedo Luigi, Mario Colors, etc. Peach has Wedding Peach, Cat Peach, All Black Peach, Glowing Crown Peach, Rainbow Colors, etc. You can see where this is going, and I'd be here forever listing all of them, as there has to be at least 7 alts per character or something. Or maybe some have more than others. Alts don't affect gameplay other than appearance, but they can have special animations, such as Cappy flipping Mario's hat when he does a trick. Onto something every Mario Kart fan is waiting, Battle Mode. Not every battle mode stage comes back. However, we do get 15 with 10 new stages. These stages are Good Egg Galaxy, Star Road, Nintendo Switch. What a, what a, what a stage. Um, Beep Beep Tower, Super Seaside Shore, Bowser's Blazing Kitchen, Warp Zone, Peach's Castle, Flower Hills, and Planet Pop Star. All the battle modes from 8 Deluxe are back with two new ones. Party. In Party, 
Item blocks give dice blocks, and those allow you to roll a number. The number you will get determines what item you obtain. This will lead to chaos, since everybody could get a coin or a star at any moment. You can stack dice blocks to roll higher numbers, win from rolling over 50. Your dice blocks take a while to roll and can be knocked out of you. You are also defenseless when aiming to win, because if you use the dice for an item, it will use all dice. The other battle mode is King of the Circle. In this mode, you gain points for being inside a circle, earn 100, and you win. You will have teams, so it's a team effort to have one collect the points and the others protect them. Now, honestly, I would have liked like a King of the Hill mode. I think that would have been cooler where you got to push people outside of the circle because as you know in Mario Kart, you can push other people's carts and use items to push other people's carts. So it would be kind of cool if there would have been a King of the Hill mode instead. But still, that sounds like a pretty fun battle mode in general. I think I like that one more than the dice mode. Now again, these rumors, these leaks, whatever you want to call them, these speculations, these fan dreams, these wet fan dreams are like 99.9% .9 not true. Yes, we get things from 4chan once in a blue moon that are true. But it's once in a blue moon. Is this that really once in a blue moon moment? When when details are this exact, it's usually not correct. If you, if you guys notice, the rumors, leaks, and stuff that we have come out, say from Samus Hunter, that end up being true. They're not this detailed. This extreme of a detail has to come from people who are directly playing the game. And if this is the kind of extreme detail we're getting from this person, we would be hearing about this from multiple people because that would mean people are actually playing this game right now behind the scenes or the game leaked. At this point, this is just a fan's wet dream, but man, is it a fun one. Can you imagine 54 playable characters, 120 tracks in a Mario Kart game with everything coming back, including the old school SNES 16-bit tracks in 16-bit mode? I'm sorry, that sounds amazing to me. Maybe only amazing to me. So what I want to know is, do you like this concept for a, maybe that's what you call it, a concept for a Mario Kart game. Do you think this would make sense for Mario Kart 9 or Nintendo Kart or whatever they want to call it? And is this something or is this a pathway you want the Mario Kart series to go down? Personally, I kind of like everything. But when things sound way too good to be true, they're not. So take this for what it is. This was just a fun weekend video that I'm throwing together while I am on a weekend bender uh, with my future brother-in-law. It is his bachelor party all this weekend. Everyone is passed out at the moment because people don't know how to hang. It is what it is. I got to show these youngins are all like early 20s, like 21, 22. I'm in my mid-30s. Yeah, kind of showing these youngins that uh, they, don't, they don't really know how to, how to handle themselves on a fun weekend like this. But that's all right, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, and hey, if you are into our videos, into our live streams, be sure to come around on June 12th for E3. We have a live E3 show going on with $3,500 worth of giveaways going on uh, from consoles to games to accessories, controllers, uh, collectibles, really cool exclusive items you can't find anywhere else. We're giving away a coin from uh, 2016 Breath of the Wild at E3. So yeah, we have a whole bunch of crazy giveaways going on that we hope you partake in and honestly, hope you win. We're just trying to give back to the community. We're partnering with dozens of companies to expand our giveaway even more. Oh, and by the way, we're going to have special guests. Obviously, live reactions to everything as it happens. Gaming competitions where you can compete against me or Eric in Smash Bros. for prizes. And yeah, there'll be challenges between Eric and I as well with punishments such as having to dress like Tingle during our live show for an hour. Maybe having to eat a hot chip. You know, the hot chip challenge. Lots of crazy stuff like that. We have a packed show for you guys. Hope to see each and every one of you there at some point during E3. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.